And if their life is so miserable that they that they need to receive justification uh, through the persecution of those who don't love their religion, who are not a part of the mask religion, um, these are miserable people. These are sad people. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I get along very well with my parents. They are of the blue pill, but are still in some, or red pill in some ways. I'm going to start that one again. They are of the blue pill. <laughs> Yo, Elliot, I get along real well with my parents. They are of the blue pill, but are red pilled in some ways. They do see through some of what's going on in the world today. The other day, I asked my dad, will he take the vaccine knowing what he knows? He answered no, but if it allows him to go on holidays, then yes, he would. <laughs> I told him I thought that was weak and he would basically be selling his soul in which he replied, my soul is for sale. And I wondered, and I replied, no wonder I was so weak growing up and we both laughed. <laughs> My dad is not the first family member or friend to say something like this about the vaccine. So to the question, do I try to convince him and my family and friends or otherwise just leave them alone? Also, I've been red pilled in a lot of subjects for a few years now. And since COVID, I started to look down on people as though I'm better than them because I see through the bullshit. And from day one, I have never worn a mask and have not and let any of this affect me. Is that a bad thing? Um, P.S. I'm really enjoying this program and seeing a lot of progress in my life. Thank you, bro. Uh, great. So. You know the answer. You 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 verbalize the answer. And my opinion is you don't change their mind. It's not up to you to change their mind. It is of your, it's your responsibility to give people information when you have it. Otherwise, you're de derelicting your duty as a, as a, as a, you know, a loving family member, right? Like if you know something, if you know that like everybody's walking off the cliff and you know that the cliff's there, they don't know the cliff's there. You got to say, hey, 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 there's a cliff up there. Now, you can't grab them by the shirt and force them not to walk off the cliff. If they're like, yeah, I know the cliff is over there and they keep walking and you're like, you know, you're going to die if you go off that cliff. And they're like, yeah, I know I'm going to die. Leave me alone. Then you just leave them alone. And your dad, that's what he's saying when he says, Hey, if I could go on the holiday, then I, my soul is for sale. He literally just said his soul is for sale. It's a shame. It's sad. I can understand why you're concerned, but all you could do is point out the facts. You can, you, and the other thing, too, is you can't judge. But we'll get to that in a moment because I know that you recognize that that's starting to perk, perk up in your, in your behavior towards people. But the main thing is that you give information. You show them what's up. What you do is, and one of the things I do with my family members, uh, I create a group chat, right? I create a group chat in my text messages and whenever I come across articles or videos that like, I think I should wait, I should tell them, I just send it to them. A lot of them don't respect that, you know, or they just ignore me or, you know, I'm sure behind their back, they're saying like, Oh, there's Elliot again. He's being extreme. Right. But it doesn't matter to me what they say or what they think behind my back. The whole thing is I'm just giving you, I'm giving you information. I'm sure, I'm sure some of the, even I do this with friends and stuff too, they probably think I'm like some right wing extremist nut, <laughs> right? Like, you know, Elliot says, this is conspiracy theories again, right? Like, of course the vaccine's safe, man. Even the president took it, of course. Uh, and so, you know, they follow, they follow in the sheep off the cliff. So I look like a nut case. Maybe I am a nut case. Maybe they're right and maybe I'm wrong, but. I, I'm just going to share my opinion. I'm just going to share my facts, the facts that I see, that what I read. And uh, I, of course, I think I'm right. But I can't, I can't convince you. And it's not my, not my job to convince you. But if your soul is damned <laughs> as a result of you selling it, and, you know, just imagine after this life, right, you and your dad, and, you know, you're in heaven, right, because you did all the right things and you repented for your sins. You may lead Jesus Christ, your Lord. And you see your dad down there because he sold his soul to the devil. He took the vaccine and, you know, and, you know, he was a good dad. But at the same time, he, he allowed the diabolical to rule his life. And he became a, a child of Satan and, and he's suffering. And you see him in purgatory or in hell. 
And because, you know, when we die and we're souls, uh, there's no time and space. So you'll know everything and what everyone's doing at every moment. And so you see your dad and and his and he's in eternal torment. Um, but you didn't warn him, <laughs> but you didn't tell him, you didn't send him that article, you didn't send him that video, you didn't ask him the question like you asked him right now, and you see him burning right there, it's gonna hurt you. You're gonna you're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer. You're definitely gonna suffer. It's gonna hurt you. But if you see him there and you're like, damn, dad, I told you. Um there's, there's no guilt. There's no shame. And he's going to have to. And he, he, if he joking about selling his soul already right now, <laughs> that's going to that conversation is going to pop up in both your in both of your brains. When you have a, when you're a soul, you don't really have a brain. Right. But in the consciousness, this is going to pop up and he's going to be like, yeah, I was wrong. He's going to be like, Dad, I wish I could save you. I wish I could have saved you then. I love you, Dad, but there's nothing I could do. And he's just going to burn up. That's going to be a shame. Um, now, it's very important that we start to, this is for me included. I watched a really good video. I would suggest you go look for it. It's on YouTube. There's a girl who makes videos. Her name is B uh, Blonde in the Belly of the Beast. This is what she calls herself. Blonde in the Belly of the Beast. And she did two really good interviews, one with Roosh V, who was a you know old school pickup artist. Like back in the day, he was a pickup artist, but then he found Christ and now he's Orthodox Christian. Um, and I think it's the interview with him, but she also did one with Owen Benjamin. But the one with Roosh V, I think is what I'm talking about. Because she was very, she's, she was like you and she was like honest. She was saying that, you know what? I have scorn towards these people. Like the people who won't listen, the people who just, you know, the sheep, the, the, the followers, the people who just follow the masses. They listen to everything that Fauci says, like he's, like he's God. Um, you know, they, they want to take the vaccines. They love wearing the mask. They just, they're, they're all bought into the cult and they make you feel guilty if you're not. She, she was having scorn towards them. And I think it was Rush V. He said something real powerful that made me like rethink my strategy too, or at least my mental strategy in dealing with these people. He said, listen, if they're, if these are the decisions that they're making and the way they're living their life, these are miserable people. These are not free thinking, open, uh, open to truth people. These are not people who think for themselves. These are sad people. A lot of these people, especially if they're virtue signaling with their masks, like because they have nothing else in their life. This pandemic has given people a new religion. It gives them something. It gives them a false religion, but it gives them a religion. It gives them something to worship, something to live by, something to, uh, to feel uh, justified by. They're justified by it. Um, and if their life is so miserable that they that they need to receive justification uh, through the persecution of those who don't love their religion, who are not a part of the mask religion, um, these are miserable people. These are sad people. And the way he said it, listen to the video because he did a better job than me. Listen to the video. The way he explained it, he was basically, you know, he wasn't chastising her for being uh, arrogant towards these people although you know that will that will it will not save your soul being this way um but he gave a really good argument as to why we should have compassion for them and when you really think about it in that in that way like you know think about your dad um you know maybe you look down on your dad or just think about what i told you before about the afterlife like this is this compassion like dad man I feel bad for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I, I, I wish things weren't this way. Uh, I want the best for you. This is what ch charity means. Charity is to wish the well for the other, for the other, um, even when they hate you. And Christ's example, man, Christ gives us the best example for how to be an alpha male in this situation is when they hate you, when they hate you, when they scorn you, when they whip you, when they crucify you, that's when you pour out the most love. All right. That's when you say, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they're doing. And that's really it, man. Those words are so powerful when he says that he's on the cross and he's dying and he's asking the Lord, please forgive these people. They don't know what they're doing. They really don't know what they're doing. That's what it is with a lot of these people. And I know I, I know there are people that don't like me. I know there are people that are in my family that don't like me. I know that there are people that, you know, maybe love me, but don't like me. Um, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's up to me to have enough compassion to hold my ground and for you to hold your ground 
and to just pray for them, pray for them and, and wish them the best, wish them the best. And of course, like I said, it's always your responsibility to inform. It's always your responsibility to inform, but it's not your responsibility to change anybody's mind. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.